everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel, my name is Moldy Worm 4975 and today we're going to be making a video that I don't usually make, um, I'm not really one for speculating about the new GTA Online DLCs or any DLCs for that matter. Um, I did make a car predictions list uh, a little while ago and that seems to be doing really well so thank you to everyone who is enjoying that video and who has liked that video but yeah I don't really do these prediction videos very often but it is a topic that I want to discuss um, it's been cropping up a lot recently in the GT Online community whether or not we're going to be able to play the new island expansion coming in the Cayo Perico heist in free mode uh, that is that is kind of the question that we're going to be answering in today's question. And um, a viewer the other day actually submitted a question to me uh, in the comment section that I thought was kind of interesting and I felt it was worth making a video on. So I want to just give a quick shout out to FernXD for leaving this comment. So the theory he submitted was this. You'll have to buy a submarine and it will be like a terabyte MOC or Avenger that you can drive around. In the submarine you can invite your friends in and go to a new island not in free mode but you can explore with your friends or yourself whenever you want but everyone else has their own island progression or their own island basically that you have to take over and it's your island. This way it can this way it can't be greased by random players and you can decide how your island goes. That was his theory um, of how he believes the next DLC might go. And once I read that I was kind of intrigued. Um, there's a lot of good points in there that he makes that I think are worth just discussing quickly. Um, the first one I have to say, he does say that you will buy the submarine and this will act like the terabyte, the MOC, or the Avenger, and you will be able to drive it around. Now, I mentioned in my video the other day that I believe the submarine is going to be our base of operations for the Cayo Perico heist, and I still believe that. I think you will be purchasing the submarine probably from Warsaw Cash and Carry, maybe from the Doctees website, or maybe they'll add a new website and that will be your base of operations now he says that he believes you'll be able to drive it around personally i don't think you'll be able to drive it because if we actually look at the submarine itself it appears to be the same submarine that we got in the uh, doomsday heist which was a pretty large submarine um, it was similar size to the yachts we have in GTA online so I believe the ability for us to drive the submarines is not going to be a thing because we can't drive the yachts um, instead what I think will happen is you will have a captain on your submarine and you will pay your captain to move the submarine to a location of your choosing kind of how it works on the yachts but I think instead of picking an already allocated slot, you will set a waypoint on the map somewhere around the island and then you will pay your captain and he will move the submarine to your waypoint. I think that's how it's going to work. And I've seen quite a few questions as well regarding the price of the submarine, um, if that is going to be the new purchasable item, how much the submarine is going to cost. Now, if we look at the price of the yachts, the base price of the yachts is about five to six million pounds, which is a lot of money in GT Online. Um, but I can see the submarine being along similar lines. Most of the properties we have in the game are between two and three million. This is a brand new property. It's a submarine as well. It's something that you're going to have to buy probably to complete this heist. So I can f see the submarine being quite expensive, probably priced similarly to the yachts. And I imagine there'll be a number of interior customization options as well. And uh, Rockstar did also mention that it was quite heavily armored. So I imagine there'll be like torpedo upgrades 
and um, we saw the periscope in the trailer. Um, that might be like an option. So when you're in the submarine, you can scout out the island. Uh, I think that might be an upgradable feature. But going back to Fernexty's theory, he says that um, you will have your own island or you will have your own progression on the island. So it won't be a free mode explorable island. But you will be able to explore the island and you will be able to explore it with your friends. The impression I get from his theory and, and his thinking here is that you will load up the new island as kind of a free mode mission. So um, it won't be in free mode, but it will act as if it's in free mode. Rockstar have already said that you'll be able to play this new heist with up to three other players. So I think that you will have your own progression on the island. I agree with that part completely. And then you'll be able to invite three of your other friends to come and join your island and explore it with you. So I think there will be an element of free mode exploration, but it won't be in the main free roam lobby. So it will be like a private session, basically. And you will invite up to three friends and then you'll be able to explore the island. And then I imagine there'll be certain things around the map. So kind of like we had Packy McCreary in the Diamond Casino Heist. You had to go and break him out of a prison van in free mode. And then you could use him as a heist member. I think it will act similar to that. There'll be a number of like mini little things you can do in free mode on the island and they will help you, they will contribute to the heist. So basically, um, what FernXD is saying here is that it's not going to be a free mode explorable island. Instead, you will load up your own island progression, kind of as a mission, and you'll be able to invite up to three friends, because that is what Rockstar has confirmed, and you'll be able to explore it within that private session basically and honestly i'd be okay with that i don't really see much of a problem with that to be honest it's a bit of a shame that it wouldn't be in free mode and personally i don't think we're going to be getting this island in free mode i could be wrong um but what fernxd has theorized here is probably the best scenario that i have seen um i've seen a lot of people saying that it's going to be a heist only location um, which would be kind of a shame it looks like a really cool island and somewhere awesome to explore but what Fern XD is saying is that it will act as kind of a private session where you and your friends can go and explore it and it's quite nice as well because you're not going to have people on a presser map who's blowing you up constantly so you can explore the island sort of on your own or with some friends and not have to worry about getting grief so i do like that part of it that is basically all i'm going to say about this um theory so thank you again to fern xd for submitting that theory is really interesting uh, but that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you did find it interesting. Let me know in the comments section if you think this is a plausible theory. Do you think this is how it will go down? Or do you think it's going to be just a heist only location? Let me know down there and I will see you all in the next video.